What is up, my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle, and today's video is, of course, going to be a tutorial on this look right here. This is actually the makeup look that you guys would always see me wear in my vlogs, and I do get questions from you guys asking me, like, what's my lip color, what lashes I'm wearing. So today, I'm gonna be showing you how I do this. This is pretty much my everyday makeup look. However, not like every day, every day, because Typically, I'm only wearing like brows, sometimes lashes, and I'm good to go. But if I want to amp it up, make myself feel good, and if I'm going out like shopping, hanging out with friends, going out for lunch, that kind of thing, then this is what I'd go to. As you can see, I'm all about that bronzed up, glowy skin with some big natural lashes and a nude lip. So this is super easy to do. I can pretty much do this makeup look in like 15 to 20 minutes if I really need to. A lot of people think that it takes me ages to do my everyday makeup, but it really doesn't. It's actually quite easy. So if you guys are keen to see how I do this, then just keep on watching. But before I get into it, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's do this. I have the hair back ready to go. So to start things off, I'm going to, of course, prime my face. I actually use two different primers. So the first one that I'm going to be taking is the Face of Australia Face Base Primer. I honestly feel like this primer is exactly the same as the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. It just gives me that same vibe as I apply it, like the consistency, the smell, and just, yeah, the way that it applies feels exactly the same. So to be honest, I don't really think this does much in terms of like making my makeup last all day long or whatever. It's more so just to have like that barrier between the makeup and my skin. And then of course, this is the Inoxa Pure Silk Skin Primer. I use this all the time. So I just like to take like a pea sized amount to my finger and then just focus it mainly on the T-zone area where I have like the most pores and where the most oil comes up later on in the day. I really do find that this helps to minimize the look of that and um, just smooth everything out. And then I just take whatever is left and just move it over everywhere else. I feel like I'm like, I feel very out of breath right now. I'm kind of in a rush because I'm going to go and see Black Panther today. I'm super excited, like so excited. So that's why I figured I'd sit down and film my everyday makeup look for you guys. But now that the primer is on, I kind of like to let that sink in for a bit. So while I do that, I'll show you what foundation I use on the daily. So this is the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation, I guess. Yeah, just the original SPF 15 foundation. And as you can see, it's a powder. So yeah, I don't like to use liquid foundation on the daily. I really only use liquid foundation, A, for tutorials, and B, if I'm going to like a special event or occasion, something like that. But for the daily, I just wear powder. And even though this is a powder, I feel like it really does help to smooth everything out, even out my complexion, and give me the coverage that I want for an everyday look. So. Let me just show you guys how I apply this. So I usually just take whatever is in the lid to start with. And then I use this brush right here. This is the Real Techniques buffing brush. And then I just like swirl my brush into the lid. And then I just start applying it in circular motions to my face. As you can see, it's not gonna give you like full, full coverage, but for a powder, it does a pretty decent job. And when I have breakouts like I do today, like this one here, this one down here, I do go in with a concealer. So I'll show you what I do in just a second. I swear, I've been using this for years, like ever since I discovered it. I haven't gone back. I used to wear liquid foundation every day, which is just too, too much for the skin. But I find that my skin actually really likes this and it's not too crazy doesn't make me break out and I feel like it does just as good of a job as a liquid foundation would so if you haven't tried it it's definitely one to try so as you guys can see that has totally evened out my skin tone and given me a little bit of coverage where I need it but in terms of any extra breakouts that I have I do like to go in with a concealer so this is the NARS soft matte complete concealer and I'm telling you guys this stuff is so good so I like to use this brush here this is the Sigma soft blend concealer brush and I pretty much just like to take a little bit on my brush and then just pat it over the areas where I feel I need a little extra coverage. So when it comes to covering up any breakouts that I have, I just like to dab the product right onto the pimple or whatever it may be, scar, pimple, 
And then I just go ahead and pat around the edges just to make sure that, you know, it's all blended in. And then of course, to set that concealer, I like to go in with a setting powder. This is the Australis Ready, Set, Go finishing powder. And I just like to take a little bit onto this brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. And just like pat it onto those areas. I know it looks crazy at first because it's like kind of lighter, but I'll show you what I do in just a second to make sure that everything is all even. So annoying because a couple of days ago when I said I was going to film this tutorial, my skin was so perfect. And then I woke up this morning and I had all these little pimples. They were just like bitchy thought. At least I get to show you how I conceal my pimples. But now I'm going to go ahead and work on these, the darkness underneath my eyes. As always, color corrector. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Peach Corrector. I guess you don't have to do this, but it's so a part of my routine that I can't not do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in. This is the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. I pretty much just pat it in gently. And then to actually conceal, I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one is in the shade NC20. So the way that I apply it is I will take a little pump to my finger and then rub my fingers together and then just go ahead and pat it underneath my eyes and I kind of do spread it out because it just makes you look more awake. Mm, I know it looks crazy, but it's okay. It'll all come together. And then whatever is left on my fingers, pat on all those other areas. I know it looks insane, but this is literally how I do my everyday makeup. I'm so messy with it and I can do this so quickly. Like people always ask me like, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Literally, if I need to be ready in like 20 minutes, I can do it in 20 minutes. So as you can see, I'm just blending this concealer in again with another Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. If you have a concealer brush like this with these kind of bristles, it's gonna make your concealer look so good. I also just like to take it onto my lid. This is my eye that has the freckles. I've got like an eye patch of freckles, so I just like to take it onto the lid as well to even everything out. Now that the concealer is blended in, what I'm going to do is go back in with some setting powder and that same tapered highlighter brush that I like to use all the time to set my concealer. And I just take that and pat it over those areas. I really like to start with this area right here underneath the eyes because that is where I have like the most fine lines. And whenever I crease up, that's where I crease up first. So I put a lot of concentration on that area and then I just kind of feather it out and as you can see I do a lot of padding motions when it comes to blending in my products just because I don't want anything to move you know also don't forget to set the lids and then lastly I also apply some to that little t-zone area because that is where I get the most oily so this next part isn't necessary and I probably don't need to do it but I just like to do it to kind of like fuse everything together and make sure that the face looks like nice and even. So I like to go in with the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. The one that I use is in the shade Petal and as you can see I've hit pens, so I use it all the time. So what I like to do is take this brush, this is the Sigma Large Powder Brush and I just tap it in there one time, tap off the excess and just pat it over the other areas of my face just to kind of like blend everything together, make sure everything's all nice and even. Plus it might give me like a little bit of extra coverage, which I ain't mad about. And it also helps to cover up the areas where I applied the concealer and translucent powder to my pimples, just so that they don't stand out and they're not like a lighter color than the rest of my face, if that makes sense. So now that my base is done, I'm going to go ahead and contour. I use the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And this is the shade I use right here. I'm really just hitting pan on this and I've had this palette for so long. I use this brush right here to contour with. This is the the models prefer contour brush and as you can see it's well that's how it looks I don't know how to describe it but I like to just tap my brush into that color and then I start with my cheeks I have really chipmunk cheeks which I actually like like I like my cheeks so I just like to concentrate the contour like just back here I don't really bring it too far forward because I feel like on me it just looks crazy when I do that so I just concentrate it like at this back end right here right near my ear. And as you can see, when I face like straight on, it just kind of gives that illusion of like actually having cheekbones. <laughs> I also just take a little bit along my jaw right here. Not too much though, because I don't want it to look like, like I really did try to contour my jaw. And then of course, I love contouring my nose. I really like my nose. I feel like my nose is one of the features that I just like on myself. It's like, I don't know, like it's not perfect, but I like it. <laughs> So I take this brush right here, this is just an eye shading brush. So with a little bit of that powder on my brush, I like to start right up here at the head of the brow and just kind of follow it down all the way to the tip. Same goes for this side, of course. 
I know it looks kind of scary and crazy at first, but this is just the part where I'm like laying down the collar and placement. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now what I do is I go back in with this brush. I haven't picked up any extra powder on it and I pretty much just blend over the areas where I just applied the powder. And doing this kind of just tones it down a little and makes it look less harsh, but it doesn't take away like what you've just done, if that makes sense. So this is my nose contour done. That's how I contour my nose. I also, if I'm feeling really extra with it, I like to take this brush right here. This is the Zoeva 325 Luxe Brow Light Brush. And I take a little bit of that banana powder from the palette, just a teensy bit on the end, and I'll just run some right down the bridge of my nose and I feel like doing this little step just takes the nose contour from zero to a hundred blends it in and that's done so next up is my favorite part which is not highlighter I feel like you guys thought I was gonna say highlighter but it's bronzing so this is my bronzer that I am in love with I've used this for so long this is my second one I've never used a whole bronzer up before but the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish is like the perfect bronzer for me. So this is the brush that I use. It looks kind of jacked up, but it's so good for bronzer. This is the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. So I just like to tap my brush into there, tap off that excess, and then just go to town with it. I like to start with my cheeks at the back here, bring it forward a little, and I just keep going round and round in circular motion, blending it as I go. Oh. Honestly, every time I do my bronzer, I'm just like, damn, this color is so perfect for me. I also just like to take it up along here on my temples, a little bit on my forehead, and then doing the same with the other side as well. And I just take some under here as well, on the neck, just pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Now, if you ever feel like you've applied too much blush, bronzer, whatever to your face, the easiest way to get rid of that and kind of fix it is to just take your powder brush, don't take any excess product, and just like blend at the edges. Cause sometimes I go a little bit crazy with it and I apply too much to my forehead or I like bring it too far in. But if I just like pat over the area with my powder brush, then that kind of evens everything out and calms it down a little bit. And it just doesn't look as crazy, which I mean, we don't want to be looking crazy over here. So yeah, that is the bronzer done. Now in terms of blush, I actually don't use a blush. I use this. This is the Betty Luminizer from The Balm. I guess you could say this is a bronzer as well. Well, like technically it is a bronzer, but it's not a matte bronzer, it's a shimmery bronzer. So I would never use this like on its own. I kind of use it as like a bronzer topper, if that makes sense. So again, going back in with another Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush, I just like to take a little bit and I pretty much use this as my blush, I guess you could say. And I only apply it to my cheeks and Mm. Actually, I do bring it up a little bit onto my temples, just a little bit, and it just gives me the nicest glow. So now we're really up to my favorite part, which is a highlighter. Now, I recently bought this. If you guys watch my vlogs, you would have seen that I picked it up, and I am so obsessed with it. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold, and oh my goodness, you guys. I've used this pretty much every single day since I got it. Like, check this out. Damn. So this is what I've been using every day for the past couple of weeks. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush. And I swear, if you want your highlighter to be popping, this is the brush you need. So I just like to take a little bit of that highlighter on the brush and then I'll just go to town with it. Do you guys see what I mean? Like this highlighter is just, mm. So I like to apply it to the tops of my cheeks and then also bring it up to the top of my brow and just like sweep it around so it kind of like cups this area if that makes sense. Since I do have this little pimple right here, we're just gonna try to avoid it. You don't really want to highlight your pimples. Also because I'm extra, I like to highlight my nose. I know a lot of people are not a fan of nose highlight, but for me, I don't know, I just like doing it. So I only take it right here to this area right here. I just like sweep it over there, skip the bridge, like the middle of the bridge of the nose, if that makes sense. And then I go ahead and apply it right to the end. Also, this spot right here. I just like applying it to this area because it makes your lips look nice and juicy when you apply your lipstick later on. I almost forgot, I actually do apply um, something to my eyes. So I pretty much just take my bronzer again, but I just take a blending brush and take the bronzer and pretty much just sweep it through this area. I'm really, really messy with it. Like I literally just shove it in there. <laughs> 
I am not neat when it comes to doing my everyday makeup. I just like slap it all on, but I find that works the best. If I'm in a hurry, I can do this so quickly, you guys. And sometimes I like to go light with it. Sometimes I like to go heavy with it, but I just feel like using your bronzer as an eyeshadow is so effective because it kind of just ties in with the rest of the face and doesn't really look like you tried too hard. And I like things to be like all cohesive and matchy matchy. So that's how it goes for my lids. And then I also do like to smoke out the lower lash line again with the bronzer. This is just a Sigma E55 eyeshading brush and I pretty much just, again, very messily sweep it under here. And I feel like this kind of hides the fact that I'm tired because I don't get enough sleep, you guys. And I feel like by applying this like warm toned bronzer to my eyes and smoking it out underneath, I don't know, it just helps to make me look more alive. <laughs> As you can see, I'm so not neat with it. I just like blend away furiously until I like how it looks and then I'm good to go. So now that all that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm firstly going to curl my lashes though. I feel like it's so important to curl your lashes. I personally have long lashes, like my natural lashes are quite long, but they're not curly. <laughs> like, it's so annoying. They're so long, but they just stick out straight. So in order to tame them and make them go the way that I want, I have to really curl them first. For mascara though, I'll be using my current favorite, the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. I'm still deciding, like, I like the Lights Camera Lashes, the original. This, however, is the waterproof version. And I've been using it for the past week or so and I like it but I feel like the original formula just kind of amps my lashes up a little more I don't know now I could totally leave it like this because this is pretty much my work makeup right here I just apply mascara and I'm good to go but because I'm extra and I love lashes like I just love big lashes because I do have quite large eyes I really like to play on that so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some falsies now you guys always ask me what my everyday lashes are and this is them right here like I have so many pairs of these lashes lying around you guys like it's crazy but these are the Ardell Wispies not the Demi Wispies the Wispies I just love them so much because they're so long and as the name suggests wispy but they don't overtake my eye and look too crazy or intense like I feel like they look pretty natural on me However, they are quite a long lash, so if you have smaller eyes, they might look a little more amped up on you. But for me, because I do have quite large round eyes, these are like perfect. Alrighty, so lashes are on. Now all that's left to do are my lips. And I get so many questions when it comes to my lip color, especially on my vlogs. You guys always like to ask like, what lip color are you wearing? Let me just show you exactly what I use. Yep, four different lip products. And I know it's excessive, but I am so down for a nude lip. You guys know that I'm all about my nude lips. So to start things off, this is the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. It's pretty much just a, if I show you guys, like a warm nude, I guess you could say, kind of almost brown in a way. Now when it comes to lining my lips, I don't really overline them. I just follow the natural shape that I have. I also just kind of fill them in with that lip liner as well. Then I go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. This lip color, you guys. There it is right there. Again, I'm so down for these like warm nudes. So I'm just gonna go over the top with that. It's pretty much the same color as a lip liner, I find. So they're like a perfect match. And then the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline goes over top again. There we go. They're, they're all pretty much the same color, as you can see. But I find that this lip combo literally lasts all day. Even if I'm eating, the color will still be on my lips, which is good. When I'm feeling extra with it, I like to go in with this. This is the Astralis Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Empower. I told you guys my lip color wasn't that simple. Like, I warned you. But that's it right there. And what I do with this is just take it to the center and then just blend it in. It's at this point that I'll go in with some of this stuff. This is the Maya Badescu Facial Spray. I just like to spritz that on because not only does it feel really nice when you do it, um, but it just kind of melts the makeup into your skin. Makes sure that all the powders have settled nicely and it doesn't look like it's just sitting on top of your skin. And um, yeah, it looks a little more natural that way, so. That is the makeup done. So there we have it, you guys. That is my everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will leave a list of everything I used in the video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, 
all that good stuff is down below. And with that being said, I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you in my next video.